Here's automobiles. If you struggle with road rage, here's the headline. And my son has these in his car. Get one of those little tree air fresheners. Oh. They say it really makes a difference for you. It can calm you down when you get have huh. road rage. My son, and I don't know if this is a thing. When did that happen? Your son? Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, probably Right after he got his license. Why? So, I don't know. I don't know if it's a thing. He got one, but he doesn't have just one. He has probably, I'll take a picture of it. He has... 25. I see that. I, think I do a, see that. Yeah. I, think I see more multiples than singles. Oh, I yeah. think it's got to be a thing with young, new drivers Huge or thing. high school kids. He has, I, I was told at Christmas, this is what he wants. So I had to go out and buy like eight of them. <laughs> and he added eight Pine more. tree air fresheners? Yeah. And he likes a certain f- scent. I think it is pine tree. It, it's the pine tree, but he likes a certain scent. Okay. The ones he likes are black. Mm-hmm. And so I went into Walmart and said, do you have black pine tree fresheners? And they look, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Yeah, what are you talking about? These go back to automotive, and they have a thousand different scents back there. Yeah. And, and so I had to find them and get them. Look, and, uh, when I was growing up, it used to be to cover up the smell of cigarettes you weren't supposed to be smoking. Oh, yeah. It's always to cover up something. Yeah. yeah it's but, BO or, or food or, or yeah. cigs. Mm-hmm. But now I think it's just how many can you get around your mirror and status. Yeah. It, it seems like it. And because all of his friends have them, and he has a ton in there. But anyway, they're saying that uh, if you have road rage, that the uh, oils and the scent inside the pine tree air fresher have been known to have positive calming effects on the brain and can help you with anxiety on the road. Maybe you should try one. Maybe I should because I do get, and my wife is, she's always about, oh, your car stinks, this car stinks. (laughs) Well, yours does. She's right about that. That's what they say. I don't know. Maybe I've become uh, immune to that, you know, because I don't. Oh, yeah. You can't smell your own stink. I don't seem to smell it. How would you rate your son as a driver? I, I Good, strong, yeah. yeah, pretty strong driver. Does he get angry behind the wheel, or is he kind of mellow? He's mellow, and he, he's he's way more cautious. He's very, he's worried always about something happening, so he's cautious about driving. He's two years in now, almost. Yeah, he's pretty good. Good, good. I have to say, good for him, I'm impressed. No I, tickets, no tickets. Now he's had a couple of scrape ups in the oh, that's right. in the parking yeah. lots, yeah. which I've come in and taken care of for him. But he has, you know, he's had that go wrong. But other than that, he's been pretty good. And I would say he is a good driver. Well, yeah, does I he, I know this is it getting closer by the day. Is he planning to hang his uh, graduation mm. tassel from the mirror? I did. No word on that, but I bet he does. Did I you? I wouldn't doubt that. No. Uh. I kept it. Mother had it pressed. <laughs> And we, Put it with your, uh, with my, your mortar it board. Family Bible? Right. It's in the family Bible right now. Mother had it pressed along with my cap and gown. Mm-hmm. And uh, my ga- my whole gown. We <laughs> the put whole it, thing? Yeah, we put it up like a wedding dress. You know, we made sure <laughs> that it looked just right. Boxed it up and sent it to the dry cleaner. Of course. And it's hanging in the closet today. <laughs> it's a long hang. Mm. <laughs> That's right. And it was it was pretty wide, too. There's a lot of... Extra what, fabric. Whatever that fabric is, you know, there Very was a, blousy. a lot of it. It's pretty blousy on there. Did Andre the Giant grab <laughs> Can you go back and get his GED? Does he wear, uh, when he graduates, will he wear school colors or is it just standard black? I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I have no idea. I know he's getting his cap and gown photos, I believe, next week. Wow. They're, they're getting ready to, or sometime soon, in, in the next couple of weeks. How would you rate his hair flow? I'd say poor. The other day I saw it and it was, uh, it looked like a mushroom. I just looked at him. I said, what is going on? He's like, yeah, I can't get my wings right right now. My wings. <laughs> his wings are bad right now. Well, he's gonna, yeah, because he's going to have to lay that cap just on just, his. I know it's got to be yeah. just right up there. I mean, there is a good chance that you, the picture that's going to hang in your home forever mm-hmm. yeah. is going to be him with wings hitting the gritty as yeah. he graduates. Yeah, it's a real possibility. Yeah. across Not, the stage. Yeah, just yeah. him low, just hitting the gritty. Yeah. And that's what's going to hang in your hallway forever. That's very possible. <laughs> yeah. I can definitely a see frozen that. frozen shot of him with wings hitting the gritty with his diploma. <laughs> Tried to work him in for a haircut the day before these pictures are going to be taken because he's scheduled for like three days after. And as of now, she couldn't get him in. So we're looking for any cancellation. So we can get him in because right now his wing game is weak. <laughs> He's work. He, it d- absolutely does. Is this his cap and gown or did they loan you one or has he already got his? I mean, you have to buy them. We bought the you had to buy cap. Them. I don't think we bought the gown. Oh, we did. You had to did buy you? both. Yeah, we had to buy a whole set. Maybe we did. Uh, I don't know if we. Ha- Why don't I know what's in my home? I, we don't. I don't know that we have it yet or not. My yeah. wife's handling all of that. Sometimes they let you borrow it because it's too early to get it. 
Maybe that's what they're doing for the pictures. So they just give you a hat and they yeah. just throw something on yeah. the top of you. Uh, we didn't get ours until like just the week before. We did too, just for the graduation. Yeah, like yeah. But yeah. they're taking pictures, which we didn't do. We never did. Uh-uh. We just got you know snapshots at the graduation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They right. have some sort of official. If you want, you can buy a picture package in the cap and gown. So maybe he's borrowing for that and then buying for the. Could be. Thing. I guess I what know. we did. Yeah. I'll tell you, we ordered ours early because you did. Although I graduated <laughs> late. late. <laughs> You had so much. Well, you were ready. Mo- it's just mocking <laughs> you. Yeah. Extra early. It's just hanging uh-huh. there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I told you, I could have walked with my class, and my parents were so upset that I didn't do that because they were like, we could have lied to the family mm-hmm. and made it seem like you Makes graduated sense. on time. Right. Uh, but, but I didn't do that. Yeah. So then I had to do the later graduate, the summer school graduation. You had to break Nana's heart. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, I yeah. did. Had to break Nana's heart. How's the how's the summer graduation compared to the regular? Real <laughs> Is there a, Although I'll tell you, let me say this: more enthusiastic audience because I think a lot of the parents were like, "I can't believe he did this." <laughs> well, we thought that thinking. he was going to drop out, That's but he, what he we were made thinking. it. At That's the right. standard yeah. graduation, you know, we had like we we elected uh, David something or other to. Uh, he was a really cool guy. Everybody mm-hmm. liked David something. I can't remember his last name anymore, but he, you know, was the speaker. Gave a really good speech. Mm-hmm. Do they do that at the late graduation? No, I've, if I recall, <laughs> it's more of a that more day. clock is ticking. <laughs> it's, like a little it's more of a drive through. Yeah. <laughs> It was it was a COVID graduation That's before COVID. Yeah. There's no yeah. music. Well, there's no, no pump. No, no. Well, there's a, there's a boombox. Well, you know, the cassette player with uh, someone hit play. Pop and yeah. circumstance. Everyone had a different color gown it's the because it was principal. all from different schools. All oh, right. So it's a mishmash of gowns. If I remember, it was quick. I love that melting pot. Yeah. Melting pot society. Well, because yes. both my parents, did, I didn't want to do it. I said, "Can I, I just want to get my diploma?" And right, my, right. my mom came to me and she's like, "Your father needs to see you." Yes. Walk across. the Yes, stage. yes. And then when we get there, I'm like, are you sure? And my dad's like, your mother needs to see you <laughs> walk across the stage. And just, you know, Can knowing. You take, take the cigarette out from behind your ear, please. <laughs> I love all the different color gowns. Yeah. It's, like, it's like a Pro Bowl. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's the All-Stars. Yeah. It's a Pro Bowl. I love that it, analogy. The opposite. They, they all... didn't tell you to keep quiet, so every family could just, yeah. Yeah. Now, a lot of families did get really excited. Yeah. My parents didn't make a noise. Right. They said my name, and you could tell they were just like, just get them across the stage. Just do we it. did them a favor. Yeah. We didn't celebrate that day. We, I went back home, yeah. and I tossed my gown like in my room, and I went out with my friends. Who the ha- next, We had the party like the next day for family. Who was in charge of handing out the diplomas? Because at, at, at the standard graduation, it's the principal. You know, and it, chances yeah, are you yeah. had a relationship with that person. Mm-hmm. The, some custodian, custodian, the, super, uh, yeah, the assistant superintendent. It was, I believe, it was like the assistant superintendent or something. You know, I'm supposed to be fishing, so let's get this over with. <laughs> well, they had to give like a speech where it was like, you know, you all should be more proud because you didn't give up. Uh, we need this room for a bar mitzvah in ten, <laughs> fifteen they're, minutes. They're paying for it. Yeah. Let's go. The summer custodian is there. <laughs> Here, take it. School opens in two weeks. Uh, the next year, yeah, the following year is gonna be. You know, we planned our son's little party for the day before he actually graduates. Like he graduates, on, it's late, like June eleventh, but we plan the party on June tenth or something like that. And I said to my wife, "That's a roll of the dice. I mean, if it's not <laughs> officially done, that's tempting fate. Yeah. You know, what if we get in there well, and he's got some credit short? Yeah. You never know. I you say know. do it. After what I had, mm-hmm. I think it's smart to do it early, yeah. just in case there is an issue. There's an issue, you get it out of the way. Yeah, it's nobody's going to know. That's right. You know, that done. kind of thing. Because mm-hmm. that's sure. what happened to me. I didn't know till like you know." The week I was supposed to be done. Right, they told you late. They came to me late and said, "Yeah, I'm going to graduate." You got a few few credits short here. They said, "Yeah, you didn't spend enough time doing this class like you should have." Mm-hmm. And, and I was like, happened. "What?" I know. Yeah. Well, That's look a- at you now. Look how far mm-hmm. you've come. Oh, you showed them. Look at this. We we're just talking about perfect attendance, which I had. Yeah. And uh, we had a couple of callers say it doesn't matter at all, and it's not even a thing. Myrtle Beach Doug called. You missed this day. He called and said attendance does matter. Being there matters. Now, he was also chugging a beer at 6.30 a.m. <laughs> no shock there. And I, <laughs> <laughs> and we said, well, look where, you, look, look where the two of you are now. Look, mm-hmm. look how far you've come. There's one more, uh, I, I guess we'd call this an automobile story for planes, trains, and automobiles. But really, it's an animal story, and it's happening in Dedham, Massachusetts. And it's not the first time we've heard of it. Another little neighborhood is under attack from wild turkeys, and they're pecking at the cars as the cars go by. Now, we have a, a brief news report of it, and I have to say, they give advice on what to do 
that I've never heard anywhere before. And near the end of the piece. Now let's take it up to Dedham, Massachusetts. The video you're going to hear, the audio of it, is uh, folks inside a car with a turkey coming at them, trying to oh. trying to attack. It's nightmare fuel, captured in its purest form. <laughs> to Lou Anatone, it's just a day in Dedham. If we're in the car, we just kind of beep the horn till they till they go. <laughs> That's his son. That's Lou's son, who's terrified of these birds. It's like a horror movie. It's nightmare fuel, says the reporter. Carpool. <laughs> turkeys. <laughs> All these turkeys are taking over. Chased my kid up the stairs one time, which, you know, pegged him on, pegging him on the legs, which wasn't too great. They followed me home. They're going for our tires. So where are they? Lou lives on a short road with just a few houses. Yet their street accounts for the last two turkey calls to Dedham police. Then most recently this weekend, we had another issue with a woman who could get out of her car um, because the turkeys were pecking at the car. Dedham Animal Control Officer Denny Goldman says most concerned calls do pit turkeys against vehicles. Turkeys aren't, I don't know if they're not the brightest of the birds or, it's, or what it is, but when the turkeys see their reflections, they automatically assume it's competition. Now that's it, it's the reflection. Uh -huh. She says that that's the thing. They think well, your car's turkey. not very shiny, Kelly. Okay. You're a turkey proof. I'm glad you said that <laughs> because here in the last 10 seconds of the piece, she said, you know, the turkeys see their reflection, so they think that they're fighting with another turkey or going after another turkey. Here's the advice. Adam police have a unique suggestion. Stop washing your car. Huh. It will cut down on reflection. You can resume washing when mating season ends in May. You want to be the bigger one, um, you want them to be afraid. If you're on your own property and you have dogs, bring your dogs out. Let your dogs out and don't wash wow. your car. Yeah. She says, be big, get in their Crazy. Face, run at them, mm -hmm. don't show fear, and don't wash your car. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, and this may be a, a job for Weather Dave, the resident historian slash presidential uh, scholar on the program, but didn't, wasn't there at one point Benjamin Franklin, one of the wild turkey, to be the, yeah. the emblem did. of the United States before the bald eagle? Yeah, he did, and, he did. My understanding was when I was a youth is that he selected that because it was a smart bird. Smart bird. That's what he's, yeah. This does not sound like a smart bird. Yeah, that's one mistake Franklin made. The, that's why he was never president. The third, you think he could? <laughs> I think that followed him. Yeah. <laughs> never and, really ran for office. So and also his hair wing game. His hair wing game. Oh, his wing. Now he got the hundred dollar bill. Why give him that? He got the hundred. He needed it. He needed it. <laughs> you think that is above all else? We just cannot elect you because we're sorry. The turkey thing. <laughs> You're not going to get elected, Ben. <laughs> Is it the tur it is. <laughs> Do they tell him on his deathbed? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get you a hundred dollar bill and uh, we're gonna get you an arts and crafts store. But that yes. they'll name the mint after you. Yes. <laughs> but uh, why what I never present? I should have never said turkey. I think it's that turkey it thing. Was, was it the turkey? It was. It, it was, was the turkey ben. thing. Because the bald eagle is so majestic. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the and the wild turkey, apparently not that bright, goes after its own reflection in the side of a car. They showed it. They, they they saw, and boy, those turkeys were right up at those cars, too. I was surprised the young man was screaming so much from inside. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, you're safe. Yeah. <laughs> would you call 911 if you were stuck in your car with turkeys? I would try to be a little more try brave. To, I'd, I'd try to get make out. Make a run for yeah, it? Yeah, I'd try to get out. I mean, had, some people but call, he said they were pecking the kids' legs. He did. On the Carry way up the stairs. a little six iron and pop them. Yeah, or, you know, I mean, that's what I'd do. I bet you can't. I was under attack from a goose once, and I once I started carrying a stick, because we had to walk right by its nest to walk the dog, and I would shake the stick at it, and it would work. Yeah. I bet there are rules about animals that you can't injure. Pro there probably are, yeah. Yeah. A common, you carrying a stick. I a carried goose. a stick at a goose. Here comes that stick carrying a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that goose stick? Uh, Bo, you're ca talking about birds that will attack and bother you. Go ahead. Yeah, we used to uh, raise peacocks and turkeys, and peacocks do the same thing. We would put a, a mirror uh, down the hill close to their lot to keep from uh, them coming up to their cars, because if you didn't, they'd, they'd bloody up the front of your cars like every other day. No kidding. Hmm. And so the mirror kept them down yeah. there fighting with them. Fighting them the down the hill. election where there's no big deal. <laughs> But your car would take the brunt That's of it. That's wild. It is. That is crazy. I've heard peacocks are pretty aggressive birds. Is that true? Peacocks, like when their feathers go out, is that when they're like ready to attack? Uh, the ones we had were tame. But we had some turkeys that would attack you. But they would wait until you turned your back. As soon as you turned your back on them. Oh, that's, that's when they would attack. That's you. dirty pool man. Oh, they're dirty oh, man. That's a dirty that's turkey. Crooked. That is a crooked turkey right there. Now you don't do that. I thought the plumage was for uh, mating. Maybe it, it is. is. Okay, so it's not for uh, showing. That's for loving. Okay.